We're already looking back down into the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, and you know, our, uh, you know, earlier and more accurate. Those are two of the main uh, uh, words that we use here at AccuWeather, and uh, we still are the only known source to have a high risk in this area. We issued that over the weekend. We did, and we're doing that so that you can be best prepared and stay safer. That's our passion here at AccuWeather, and we're highlighting that same general area trouble brewing. This is the same area that Helene came out of as well. Now, what makes this, and I use the term, and you and I have been off camp, murky. This is a yeah. very murky setup. We know about the high risk. That we do know. There are, there's going to be challenges uh, a ton of timing the development and the impact. But again, as we've said from the get-go, Florida, Florida, Florida. Here's where we have the problem, Sean. It's just not one area we have to monitor. Yeah, that's why it's murky. It's a great description. It's not one particular area of concern. You can see there's an upper level area of low pressure here with some spin coming into the Caribbean Sea. There's lots of showers and thunderstorms off the west coast of Central America. And generally, there's going to be lowered pressures in this area. And it's from here that we think one or perhaps maybe two uh, areas of uh, consolidated thunderstorms can develop. Well, a lot of other sources are just giving you more moderate risk. What we're right. trying to do is we're trying to take it a step farther here. What are the scenarios, John? Listen, there could be more than this, but I think these are the two primary scenarios. Let's talk about them. Let's begin with that. Let's say the upper low, just south of Cuba, that's the main low. That's what we have to track. Right. We're going to be watching very closely to be, see which of these becomes the focus area for development. If uh, we get a development faster here in the parts of the Northwest Caribbean Sea, that would uh, tend to draw a system up toward Florida uh, in the Sunday to Monday time period. It looks like a hurricane would be unlikely, but it could be a big rain producer, which is obviously still very dangerous. Now, then let's go to the second scenario, and this I think is the more dangerous scenario. That is we have an area of low pressure in the, in the eastern Pacific. Some of that energy gets into the Bay of Campeche. The problem is, John, with this setup, you have a longer period of time moving over the exceptionally warm waters of the southern Gulf of Mexico. Yes, that would be a problem for a more, it could be a more intense storm, but that would be later next week. It would spend more time in the Gulf of Mexico, and it looks like the wind shear would be to the north, so that would be a concerning setup for a greater impact storm. And, and John, the one thing that I keep getting asked, how are you so certain that it's Florida? Well, because we know the weather pattern. And if you know the weather pattern, it's like the hurricane or the storm is a cork. And if you know the stream flow and you have the cork in the stream flow, you know where the cork's going to go. Yes, the stream flow looks like everything is pointing it toward Florida. There's going to be a lot of wind from west to east across the Gulf of Mexico, and that does two things. One, it draws anything that does develop toward Florida, and it also should keep most of the rain out of the areas hardest hit in the southern Appalachians the way it looks right now. Yeah, and that's certainly good news for the southern Appalachians, but boy, this is going to be a very tricky setup. Florida, 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 though, that's the main message as we move forward. AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist Jonathan Porter.